how can we be the smartest species out there, harnessing all this technology, all these cool thoughts about the future, yet still be problematically dumb and irrational in all of these uh, sometimes very crazy ways. And I think there might be two explanations for where this kind of dumb behavior comes from. One explanation is just that, in fact, the systems that we live in are bad. This is sort of where Dan ended before. You know, maybe we're setting up the structure of the system, and we're dealing with a system that's actually just a little bit crazier than, in fact, it should be. We're dealing with systems that we didn't create. They're incredibly complicated. Maybe we just have badly designed environments. But there's a second possibility that as a psychologist, particularly a psychologist that studies evolution, that I worry about a little bit more. And that's that it's not our systems that are designed badly. It's actually our minds that might be designed badly. Our minds are a product of millions and millions of years of evolution. We take that evolutionary machinery we have and we use it in the context of mortgages and banking environments and the current systems we find ourselves, but maybe it's our minds that are designed poorly and not the systems. Well, how do you get at this? Well, the way we've tried to get at it is not to actually study humans, but to study one of our closest evolutionary relatives. You're meeting right now uh, a brown capuchin monkey, Holly, who's one of the capuchins from our lab. These, this is a species that's closely related to humans. They branched off from our own human line around 35 million years ago. And so I think these guys are a great window into exactly what Neil was suggesting we do before, which is to look at our financial history. But this is going back many orders of magnitude past our history in 1929. We're actually looking at the way our minds were designed to solve decisions and to solve problems back millions and millions of years ago. And this has been the approach we've been trying to take in our lab to try to understand human irrationality can we see the kinds of irrational decision making that we see in the human species in these guys as well? If we do, then it can't be the environment that's driving these decisions, it can't be the situation, because these guys have none of that stuff.